And we are live. Okie dokie. Yes. So, hello, everybody. Oh, let me just show my face first. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, in the background, you can hear Felix already. He's not on screen yet because I just want to introduce him properly. Today, we are talking with Felix Scheinberger. And he is this week's teacher in the course that looks really real. And I hope you are finding this um, video well, this live video on YouTube. It's a, uh, we haven't done that uh, that often, but we really like the YouTube place to be in. So please uh, say hi in the comments so I can see that you're here and I can see that you're actually watching because I have no idea. I did see a thumbs up coming in, so that is good. And there's a few people watching I can see now, so it's awesome. Say hello in the chat. Uh, Morgan is here in the chat room as well. So uh, if there's any, if you have any problems or if there's anything that you want to know, just put it in the chat and um, also share your questions because Felix will be here in just a few minutes and we can uh, pick his brain. You know, we have been watching his videos and we have been watercoloring our, um, our lunch this week. So um, we can ask him anything <laughs> if we need some extra information. I mean, he is uh, sitting uh, in Berlin uh, in his apartment waiting for us uh, to start asking questions. And, you know, Felix just draws everything. He's draws street scenes, people, dogs, cats. He draws in nightclubs in Berlin, anywhere in the world, actually. And um, I think we all really actually want to be able to paint like him. So, um, and the great thing about his style is that he draws from reality always and um, puts a lot of expression in his drawings. And his drawings are so real. They're not photorealistic, but they are super real. And maybe his expressive style actually makes it even more real. So I want to know how he does it. I mean, we've seen him work <laughs> in his demos, but uh, maybe we can uh, ask him a few questions to learn even more from him. It's great to see that you are all here. I can see Gail and Kincha and Jen and Janice. Hi, hello, everyone. And um, let's, bring, let's bring him on to screen. I think he's just sitting there waiting and just drawing because what else can you do, right? So, hey, Felix. Hey, hello. Hi, hi. You are drawing. Wow. Uh, wait, yes, of course, I, I draw you. Wait, I can show it to the people? Uh. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Yep. <laughs> That's you, yeah. not 100% uh, photorealistic, but maybe realistic enough. Yeah? It's a, nice such, to see a, you. Yeah. such a privilege to be drawn by, you know, an artist whose work I admire so much. So thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thank you for the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> so how, okay. how are you? Fine, I'm very good. Yeah? yeah? Nice. Yeah, uh, no, no, to say the truth, I catch a cold a bit, but uh, mm. besides, it was a bit, bit stormy and cold in, in Berlin in the last days, yeah, and of course, it's, it's, it seems to be summer, and you wear uh, thin clothes, and of course, you get the cold. Yeah? I know, yeah, I had a cold too, and I was actually doing a webinar, and most of the time, I was just <laughs> blowing my nose into into issues it was horrible so yeah. i'm sorry you are have a cold and i'm glad you are here yep me too yeah so um let's dive in because um well um uh, let's see what what can we talk about i mean maybe just about the, the thing Troy, that, what a color. Yes, let's talk about drawing <laughs> the, the the thing that i i just uh, mentioned when i introduced you is like you draw everything right is yep. there does it does it matter to you which topic you pick at all oh it's a good question uh no no i i i, I think um okay in general you can you can draw everything and um, everything is some kind of interesting but of course uh, my main topic is things 
more alive things or or things that, mm, that tell a story or something. You know? For me, it's it is mm, it it have, it's very important that these things are some kind of connect with an um, emotional things. So it's if it's just pff, yeah architecture without anything without a story with anything I can imagine, it's not so good. For me, it's 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 always very good. I, I if it's for example, if I draw a house, mm -hmm. if I I can uh, imagine something about this, tell maybe just imagine a story. Maybe oh. it's not just a house. It's a house where a friend live, or maybe or maybe more romantic, where a princess live, or where um, with ghosts inside, or I don't know something with story, with emotion, with uh, yeah, to add something um, that brings um, uh, uh, yeah content to um, yeah. the, the show face. This is what I think. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, I think um, that that ex if you have that even in the back of your mind, I yeah. think that explains why your drawings look so playful because there's always something happening. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, it has it has to be so it's not it's not you can draw everything. Of course you can t from a technical point of view you can draw everything, but pff, you will be some kind of bored. No? Yeah. So I think it is much nicer to yeah you know, to communicate with toying, to tell stories with toying. Yeah. I think this is the main topic. What I think was this all the main interesting point for me is to tell stories with drawing, not just pff, copy structures or something. No? Right, right, right. So do you think? Um, I think that is really part of why your style is so recognizable you know that playfulness but yeah what else is it that makes your style your style do you think oh good question uh, first of all you, you didn't recognize by yourself that you have a style this is yeah. it sounds a bit weird but it is it is like this it is an, if you if you compare it with other things if you dance or if you cook or you pff, talking with friends or something you also have some kind of specific style that's true but, that's yeah, but you never true. never thought about this For, yeah. as an artist it is some kind of you, know, you make your business or you with your the, the, the point of attraction is is that you have a style if you just dance you never care about this but you also have a real style yeah yeah and yeah. and style is something that normally you don't looking for a style mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. just something that grow by itself yeah, and probably uh, you think it's a matter of taste as well. I mean, yeah, of course. yeah, of course it's a matter of taste. Yeah, I, I like the the analogy of um, uh, cooking. Yeah, because um, I do have a certain style, and if if my husband cooks or I cook, there will yeah. be something completely different on the table. Course, and I mean, course. he's a fantastic cook. <laughs> <laughs> but you know he's more like he he likes making stews and that kind of stuff yeah. and i'm more i'm doing more of light simple things i don't know it's it, it is yeah. really this, different this is, this is the whole message this is not a question of quality no. it's a question of taste yeah that is it no? yeah 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 it's your handwriting that's yeah. basically yeah. it right yeah. I, you don't really choose to have that handwriting but yeah. it's yours and you can adjust it a little bit maybe to be to have it be more neat yeah. or or less neat or whatever um, of course you, but you're inspired, is, yeah. you are inspired from other people you are inspired from the work from the fantastic work from other people yeah from your colleagues from your friends from from people who lived long time ago huh? yeah and you think wow that's that's fantastic but it is, it is just a part of this. You are a bit inspired of this. Yeah. On the other hand, if you, if you really are desperately looking for a new style because you're an artist and you think, oh, it, it, it has to be something. It's, it's like a business. Uh, it, it's, uh, I, the people should be aware of my existence. And, and, and you, you look, look very much and such a, much for this typical uh, style, unique style. Mm. I think it's, it won't be a good thing because you always work with a scissor on your head. Yeah, you say, "Oh no, this isn't well known, and this is something other people do, and so on." If you just pff, do something like like cooking, like dancing, like other things, yeah, you never would think, "Oh no, I can't." 
make, I don't know, for Bo, because other people from Vietnam did it before. That's right, 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 right. On. right, <laughs> right. Make your own for Bo, and it will be, it will be unique. Okay? Yeah. And if you do it a while, you will develop this, and, and I think just, yeah, you can mm, create your own style while just doing things. Yeah, you add some ingredients, you leave some yeah. out, and then you yeah. create your own style. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's, that's fantastic, that's great. Um, I do have a question from someone, um, and that is, and it's maybe also related to the portrait you just made in like, what, three minutes? I don't, I don't know. know. It's made <laughs> as, as I can I make it finish if you want, yeah? Well, with this watercolor, wait, yeah? Oh, that would be it. awesome because well, I, I can, I, I will, I will change a bit, yeah, and I can make it finished. Awesome, yeah. Let me see if I can do it on the head. Yes, oh, yes, I can. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> it's like, a, like in a circus. I will draw Yay, it on the head. We'll get a demo. How awesome uh, is that? Okay, you can see what I do. This is an, I can. This yeah. is a girl in the train. Oh, she, she don't have a ticket. This was very interesting. She, she doesn't have, have a ticket. She don't have a ticket, and it was in the first class in, in a German train. This is very strict, yeah? And she's asked me, would you, would you say to the, to the, to the um, what's the name, Schaffner? What's the name in English? I don't know. The so, guy who controls so the tickets. Conductor yeah. or whatever, yeah. yeah. Uh, would you say to him if I, if um, uh, if I uh, hide myself under under the uh, the seat? And I said no. I will draw draw you, and I draw her. <laughs> so wait, I'm, That's so I, fun. I, I finish this. Yeah? Okay. So you have a you have a bit of red nose, but not as uh, yeah. I know you I don't always, like it. Yeah? I always have a red nose. Yes, me too. Yeah? I think it's some kind of Celtic skin. Also, yeah. I wish I had I had a more. Uh, Brown skin, but I don't have, unfortunately. So, so I can do it on the head. You see what I do? Look huh? at that. Um, could you could you explain? But I can ask, answer questions while I do. Okay, it's great. Some, so, so how part how do you decide when and where to color? So now, for example, you're like, okay, I just decide to add some color, but how do you decide where you want that? And uh, Hmm, okay, it's uh, color is also uh, it's not tr just a question of color; it's a question of light. So if the light comes from the top, yeah, it it you can uh, describe it very well with less color. Mm. So I would um, combine um, combine uh, to set light and colors in one thing. And also, you you don't need it everywhere. You're, so you mean you look at shadows, and that's yes, where you. Yes, of course, start? I look at. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's hard to explain because you look on the other side for me. <laughs> but for I example, if I, if I no no stop 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 it, yeah. <laughs> so I if I if I for example here on this part of the face, there's a bit more shadow, and yeah. I just add more colors. Or if you under underneath this, yeah, for example, there's a shadow, mm -hmm. and I I declare the shadow like drawing with um, watercolor. Mm -hmm. right. So it's easy. And of course, um, I like bright colors. Yeah. So for example, I. Add this. Can you uh, hold it up a little bit more because we can? Yes. Oh uh, yes, I there you go. Yeah. The color. Yes. And the interesting fact about color is, if you just uh, use color on one part of the of the yes, so one part of the picture, mm -hmm. it doesn't look so good. Mm -hmm. So I I need an excuse to use it again. And here I write your name, cost you, mm -hmm. and then I, for example, I just add here also, and now it's some kind of harmonic. Yeah. You know? You yes, see? absolutely. It's, that brings harmony. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. I love that. It brings such a uh, balance right away. And there, yes. <laughs> a bit. Uh, it's not so easy on the head. Girl. Okay, it will work. Yeah. So someone... Um, us here. I can show it again. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it so much. Man. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome. So someone asks, um, uh, sort of related to, uh, can you uh, tilt your yes. camera? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so here I am once more. Yeah. Yes. Um, related to uh, drawing portraits, uh, someone asks, did you ever study anatomy or did you just get a feel for it after lots of practice because your people's faces look so perfect? Um. Yes, of course, to say the truth. Of course, uh, when you start um, learn drawing, uh, I think you, you need the technical aspects from drawing. So, of course, all students, including me when I was a student, learn, yeah, for example, with nude drawing. Yeah? This is a very good way to, to 
be precise, to to develop a good view, and um, yeah, to, to to learn drawing basically. And uh, in my study, I study in Hamburg in the mm-hmm. University of Applied Science. Mm-hmm. Of course, we have we have courses like this, and of, of course, I attempt these courses when I was younger. Yeah. yeah. But um, this doesn't necessarily mean that you you will stay on this this point forever because after a while, also you can describe everything with just um, a realistic point of view. Maybe yeah, people are not just yeah, people are alive. They have souls. They have emotions. They are yeah. they are not just yeah structure and anatomy. So it's not enough. So from time to time, it's also very good to to develop an own handwriting because um, this brings you to the point that you can add more things than just a sure face. This is what I mean. Yeah, hmm? yeah, yeah. But you yeah. need both. You you yeah. need, need information and you need technique. Yeah. So it it is good to have that basic knowledge. And yes, then the reason that things like sketchbook school exists, yeah? because sure. also of the basic knowledge. Yeah? Sure, Otherwise, yeah. the people can just do whatever they want. Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's absolutely true. And um, I think basic knowledge, but also seeing people draw. I mean, just seeing you draw that picture yeah. and paint that picture. I mean, that is not only very inspiring, but you learn. F- by watching people and then trying yeah. to do it yourself so yeah. you know n- next after this uh this webinar we'll be you know trying out and looking at the shadows yeah. and using our watercolors and see yeah. what we've learned just now you know yeah. so yeah absolutely um a lot a lot of practice is is really key i think yeah and, and you, you need to be yeah, yeah i think it's good to have practice to, to be uh, interested in the aim it's mm-hmm. also sometimes it's very good to go just in a museum and watch watch pictures. Yeah. Maybe also old pictures. Go and yeah. look how Peter Preugel did this 400 years ago. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. learn something from this. This is yeah. very cool. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Rembrandt, if we're looking Maybe, at shadows, hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Fantastic things from the past. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, so just... Um, I don't want to interrupt anything, but I just want to remind people who are watching, uh, which are like 40 people, which is amazing. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the chat room or in the chat here in the comments so we can pick them up and ask uh, Felix. Just a quick reminder. Um, in the meantime, another question, which I think is a really good one too. Mm-hmm. How do you decide um, that a drawing is finished? Ha- have you have you mm-hmm. ever overworked something, or have you? Do you always stop in time? Of course, thousand times. Of <laughs> course, when of course, if, if you start, you overwork always your pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, it is a, one of the hardest things to learn is when is the right moment to stop things. Yeah. Because if, especially if, if you work with with colors. Yeah? Uh, yes, it's easily too much, yeah? Mm. and uh, yeah, it's like um, how, how to describe this. If like you you surf on a wave, yeah, it becomes better and better and better while you're working on it, yeah, mm. or while you do this. Yeah. But there will be a point when you overwork it, and you you see it maybe, yeah. You learn you have to learn to see when this point comes and before it came, yeah. Yeah. You have to stop. Yeah. Yes. I think it's it, especially in watercolor. It's a it's very uh, important. Maybe stop a bit before mm. and wait a while. Mm. Do something different. Go jogging or make something like what you want, whatever. Yeah? Wait a while and then look again because you need some kind of distance. And while we're working on things, we lose this distance. Yeah, it's it's very easy if you go to other people's and look on their shoulder and look what they do. You will see. When will it be too much? In your own picture, it's not so easy to see this because we, we really don't have distance to our work and we have to learn to create a point of view that, that brings us to a distance and to say, okay, stop before. Right, right. Yeah, so by making mistakes, you know next time, okay, I'm I'm close to making this mistake again. Now I need to stop. That's basically. yeah, and this is very good. If we work on a computer, if we, uh, for example, if we work on a computer and we make a mistake, I just make Apple set, and then it goes back. Mm-hmm. And 
this is so easily done that I never will have a benefit from it. Mm. If I make a real mistake, if I have to make a nice drawing and work a long time and then I use the wrong color, you know, I will worry about this a long time. I think, why I this, do I destroy my beautiful drawing? Mm. And it's a very good thing to worry about things because this brings you to the point that this failure will, will, will keep in your head. If yeah. you just make apple set, it won't, it, it, it's not in your head. There's no learning or benefit from it. Right. So fa failures is a good thing because you can learn from failures. This is the point. Yeah, yeah. It, Absolutely, so, yeah. So make lots of mistakes and yes, that will please. make you yeah. a better artist. Yes, yes, this is the point. Yeah. There's, there's a need for this. Yeah, huh? yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a, that's a great answer of, uh, yeah. about overworking. So you have to yeah. overwork to yeah. get, know when to stop and um, uh, make things sim simpler or, yeah. Well, I would say this is exactly this, yes. Huh? So I continue on your picture while you we are. talk. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> because um, I always make failures from time to time. I think, oh, it's not good enough. Oh uh, yeah, you need to just <laughs> yeah. But and that's it. You stepped away from it, and now you look at it again, and then you're like, yeah. oh, maybe I need to add something. Yes, I, I think this is that's a good great. point. Yeah, this yeah, explains yeah. it very well. Huh? Yeah. So um, Anthony is asking. And I think I know the answer, but I want to know it from you. What your medium of choice is? Okay, my medium is watercolor. It yeah. Watercolor. Yeah. I love watercolor. I have this tiny little case, yeah? and yeah. this is a nas and a pen. And this is what I, I really like because you can have it everywhere. You don't need a studio. You can mm -hmm. have, take your sketchbook, go out yeah, with small watercolor case. Maybe with a brush pen like this, you know this? Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. And that is it. Yeah. So you can just put it in your pocket and this is it. Yeah. And pens, because you started uh, the drawing you just did, you started with a pen. Is that like, was it um, uh, a fine liner? Fine liner? Normal fine liner like this. Yeah. Black or? Uh, this oh, is brown. It's brown. Mm. Um, There's a secret in that too. It's yes, different. Brown. Yeah, it's um, black. black make a, 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 a hard contrast. Black and white is a hard contrast, but mm. black, uh, white and brown is not such a big contrast. It's more easy to draw with. Huh? Mm. That's and this tip. is a waterproof uh, ink, so it's okay. You can work with um, ink draw, with watercolor and so on. Yeah, excellent. Um, do you have any favorite brands for um, sketchbooks? No, I, I think I use... This is what I use. is a sketchbook from Hahnemühlen. Yeah. Hahnemühlen is a... a um, uh, factory he make they make this paper since a few hundred years it is not expensive mm -hmm. it is well made it is acid free ah, and yeah. this is very important this is if you if you use acid for this for for paper it will be destroyed after a while and it's right. not good for painting right notice right. this effect if you if you draw something and it it's blue through yeah and this is because they, they use acid for it. Mm -hmm, huh? mm -hmm. It's not it's, it's, uh, it's a destruction in the structure from paper. Yeah. And um, I really would recommend okay, uh, 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 I would recommend middle class quality. If you have uh, a high end sketchbook for with watercolor paper, with could cost pff, I don't know thirty dollars yeah, or something. Yeah. It will affect you because mm. if I use this sketchbook, I think. Is my work worth to be in this sketchbook? Yeah, so it's too you know, precious, and then yes. you don't even start a drawing. Yes, I, and yeah. I, I don't want to waste this expensive material with my bloody failures. So it's very good yeah, to have a normal sketchbook. Yeah. Okay, you need a big quality, but my sketchbook costs maybe 10 euro, maybe. So, and you can. This is 120 page and it's, it's 10 euro. It's not it's so expensive. And um, I think the effect is you can, it's just for sketching. Yeah. Also, you can, you, it don't have to be perfect because it's just 10 euro. It's okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, I, I totally agree. I think it's a lot of people though. recognize it. Like, I've, I found this beautiful sketchbook, but I, I just don't yeah. dare to even start. With a leather bending and with, I don't know, with, uh, yeah, yeah that's just a problem. Yeah, uh, Also, if precious. you use all this 
expensive material. Yeah. Okay, from from colors, there's a difference between good and bad colors, of course. But it don't have to be high end. It is. Uh, I use this Schminke stuff. It is from Germany. It is. It is. It's good quality. It's not so expensive, and it don't have this effect to me that I I don't want to waste it. Yeah. I just use it. It's like uh, using materials. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I have a question here from Peggy, which is actually a uh, great Peggy? question. Peggy, yes, <laughs> because. Um, uh, we talked about this before we went live. She is asking, do you sell your drawings? And yes. actually, <laughs> you do. Yes. yes, so tell me yes. about it. Um, yes, I have a, a big cartel shop. And I, yep. I, I, for example, um, when I, um, I make uh, a book, and of course I, 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 have to, I, I create tons of, of, of uh, pictures for the book, I, um, and after this I sell it. It's it's a bit always a bit sad because I, I like this this yeah. drawings and my my girlfriend say oh I really like this drawing why did you sell it can't do this but on the other hand as an artist uh, it's your income to to um, to sell things yeah. of course and it's very much okay if it's not end prices or something if it's okay I think you can do this and uh, is it better that, that these pictures are on the walls from other people and they really like it then you just have it in your in your come on, I don't know yeah yeah so yeah so uh, Peggy um, you can get an original Felix Scheinberger just go to his website Felix Scheinberger dot com no dot de no, both both of me dot com mm -hmm. and find his shop I also posted the um, uh, link to the shop directly so have a look maybe you get one of those paintings that Felix was attached to, but mm -hmm. uh, is now actually selling, which is amazing. You'll have an original. Ah, thank you. Yeah. So, um, uh, oh, Peggy also asks, which is uh, a bit, yeah, that's interesting. Peggy says, how do you actually determine a price for your art? That's a good, uh, good one. Good question. Okay, I think um, it's a question of size. So most of the pictures are I can show you this is this is the size so like like this for example this is the size and uh, um yeah um the most pictures I think it's it's a, it's um it's a difficult question uh, when I was younger um I just say how long it takes but it's it's not always a question about how long it takes to make it because from some part of uh, uh, point of your life you also um, get some kind of salary because it needs so long time to have the knowledge to do this mm. and it's this, um, it's also personal taste yeah I I really have, if it's a higher price it's pictures mainly Mason it's it maybe it's it's, it's print in a book. This is a, also an important thing, but in this shop, most of the pictures are printed in books too. Um, and yeah, you fall in love. You fall in love with some some of um, these pictures, and they are some kind of they are some kind of your child's, and yeah. so, so you are not in the mood to sell it. Yeah? Right. So it it's it's a question of size, of quality, of is it print or not, and uh, yeah, and a question of love, of course. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. so you just value value it um, by yeah. Uh, and a, a, a good 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 uh, thing is if you um if you want to know how the price of your pictures is, uh, maybe if you sell it by yourself to your friends or something, it's not. Uh, by the way, you can't sell it to your friends, but to to people you know or something, that's a different. Uh, if you see, for example, in in internet in a gallery. They sell your pictures, and you can recognize what what is the price if they resell it. Yeah, if it's not from you. Mm -hmm. So this is what I mainly do. I see, oh, this is the worth of the picture because other people sell it on eBay for this price, or they sell it in the gallery. It's not yeah. sell by myself. Right, I right, just right. look how is the price level. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, I hope that uh, answers your question, Peggy. Um, I have a question from Robert, 
who says... Um, Hello, Robert. <laughs> Hi, Robert. He's at every webinar. I love that. Um, he says, on an earlier interview, you have mentioned that uh, legs were outside of your comfort zone, drawing legs. Yeah. Um, he's asking, how's that coming along? Are you learning? Are you getting better at it? I hope so. Yes, I, <laughs> I always try. Of is, it, is it still outside of your comfort zone? Yes, a bit, yeah, but I think, uh, of course, I, I tried the last time. Wait, I can look at my last sketchbook. Maybe I will find something. Where's, ah, here's my last sketchbook. I uh, draw. You just used it. <laughs> yes, here. So, oh, it's always it's out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Oh, no. She, for example, this girl have legs, you see? Yeah. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> Those are great. And and he too, he have legs. Yeah, he sit, but you see him. Definitely hmm? good this is one. My last good legs. It's, it's it's fifteen uh, fifteen days ago. I was in um, Moscow. In Moscow, yeah. and I draw. Yes, I draw people with legs. Also here, he have legs. Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh, nice and hairy. Yeah. Yes, those are great. Is, Love the feet is, too with those sneakers. Yeah. Yep. No, and ah uh, no. She don't have legs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see my legs. I don't no, have hardly. legs. No, yeah, but no. it was in original. There's a picture in the, in, uh, on my computer. I don't have legs. Yeah? <laughs> so it's drawing from the reality. Yeah? Exactly, exactly. Yes. I do More not have legs. About... So, yeah, so you can't draw them. True. Okay, well, it's great that you are practicing and that you are, you know, feeling more and more confident about that. Um, um, I'm, and I'm also really happy to see that every artist has their own struggles, you yeah. know, and there's always something to learn, which makes drawing so interesting. Yeah, wherever you stand, you, you think, oh, pff, there are so many things to learn. Mm. Yeah. You, you, you don't think, oh, I'm, I'm perfect, I'm so great, that's a great artist. You don't think this. Maybe I, I think this for my colleague. I think, wow, they are perfect, they are great artists, but I wouldn't say this thing from my own art. No, definitely not. No, right. no. Yeah. You're, never, you're never done learning. No, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> so here's something about learning. Um, MJ is uh, saying that he or she, I don't know, um, I have a hard time with values in my painting and he, um, sorry, I have a hard time with values in my painting. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice on getting better with values? Values means? So yeah, so it's the different sort of tones, um, the values, ah, okay, yeah. as in, mm -hmm. you know, if you use gray, there are like yeah. loads. Yeah, this is always a bit problematic. You know? I uh, would recommend to simplify things. For example, mm. it's, a, it's a good trick if you if you look on on a, a subject. You, know? mm -hmm. you you look at if you look realistic, uh, it's uh, everything is, looks equal. But if you, for example, if you look like like this, so like uh, if Squint I your if, eyes. you lose like like you close yeah. your eyes a bit, like you lose your contact len len yeah. lenses. Yeah? yeah, you will simplify the world a bit. Try mm -hmm. this out. It will be more silhouette. It will be like a woodcut black and white. And so it's, it brings us to the point that you realized this is really dark and this is really uh, bright. And yeah. I think it's a good advice to look like this and then you copy the ground structure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is a really dark point in your picture and this is not. Uh, when are there many te pe teachers say things like this? You have to learn to see and it looks, uh, it sounds philosophical, but it's not uh, about to be more precise. I think it's from time to time, it is more like really singing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not so precise, more like, pff, yeah, you know, like, like, uh, do you be a bit blind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you I copy this effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you squint your eyes, you yeah. sort of um, uh, filter out details yeah. and you you understand contrast better which helps you to define those values um i think that is the, and then you simplify things like yes, you say yeah, simplify that's it yeah. yeah that's great that's really good yeah. um but i have the same problem uh, when i was young yeah. i just I, I i found a map with 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 drawings from i don't know shoes i 
did 30 years ago and it, it looks so great and I think okay Felix everything was you, great if, if you were my students I would know what I w would say to you <laughs> This is normal. You have to learn this. Yeah, yeah? of course. But try to simplify things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, and uh, last week we talked about this too um, uh, with Danny because he he also talks about light and shadow and that looks really real. And um, it's this. Uh, he also um, had the same advice, like you really need to simplify, maybe even just choose the brightest and the darkest yeah. that you see yeah. and only draw that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because there will be a lot in between, but maybe yeah. you don't need to yeah. tell the whole story about that. Maybe just the darkest and the and the yeah. lightest are enough for your drawing. Yeah, if, if you look yeah. to, to graphic novels or something, Superman, or so it works oh, yeah. just this contrast, exactly. nothing else, and it works very well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good example. Um, and maybe it's also a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Just watch art from other people yeah maybe yeah. on superman comic why not yeah, yeah. It, it describes it very well <laughs> okay yeah yeah no that's that's great i mean yeah. uh, looking at uh, examples like that is uh, really yeah. helpful mj okay. uh, she not says a good comic to say really good comics are moomins or something superman is maybe not so good but it's helpful to to understand how light work yeah hmm? Exactly, because it, yeah. it's sort of exaggerated as well, so that helps too to understand. Yeah. Uh, MJ says that she is um, she's very thankful for this an answer, so that's, oh. <laughs> that's oh. great. It's pleasure. Um, Janice also has a fun question. It's totally unrelated to what we talked about just now, but you you draw on location a lot. I mean, you just came back yeah. from Moscow, and yeah. she she asks. What was your most challenging or difficult location where you have sketched? Oh, good question. Yes. Good question. I because it. I was on so many difficult locations. Oh, yes. tell me. Tell me just a few. Yeah. Uh, as, for example, when I, um, I was maybe in the Middle East, it's, it's always a big problem oh. because the people are not... Um, so used in pictures and yeah. they have um, a religious reason not to be drawn by other people yeah, because they don't like the fact to draw persons in general. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So from time to time, there's, there might uh, you can have discussion in, for example, Egypt or something. Where mm -hmm. when I, wa I was, I was in spring. I was in Egypt and draw a lot. Yeah? And um, and I, I I always want to be friendly to people and don't want to cast people. I want to feel people bad or something because I I do something. So I. I always hide myself a bit when I do this because I, I want to be respectful or something. Uh, on the other hand, I'm a drawer man. I want to draw. So it's, it's a discrepancy. And I, for that reason, I try, if I do this, to be yeah, more respectful and more friendly and so on. Mm -hmm. um, for me, always, I, for example, I, I draw a lot in Berlin, in, in, in nightlife or something. Yeah. This is a super interesting location, super interesting people, because if you draw people, it's it's super nice if the people are, look fancy and so on. But you, know, you always have to be a bit respectful with people. Sure. This is yeah. not an object. This is this they are alive. They have feelings. They have souls. You have to be respectful with people. It's not okay to f let people feel bad. Because you do something, yeah. Yeah. So it's an it's a discrepancy, and you have to be a bit sensitive while you do this. Yeah, this is and what I recommend. Uh, huh? Yeah, I think I think um, especially when it comes to drawing people, um, I think you can just make sense of whether you can or cannot do it yeah. by thinking: if I would pull out a camera right now and photograph them, would that yeah. be okay? You yeah. know, and then if you if you're like no, that's definitely not okay. Then yeah. don't do it. And then, but there is like um, a, a different level to it because often taking a photo is like very yeah. intrusive. Yeah. But yeah. then when you're drawing, it's it's your it's um, personal thing you are doing. So it's I don't know. It's kind of hard because some in some. Uh, in some um, uh, places, it will be okay to 
you know, yeah. draw, but, but it won't be okay general, to take a photo. It's not okay to make photos from other people. Just so like it's, that. It's, 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 exactly. it's, it's stanceless. It's not yeah. okay. If you make a, if it's your friends, you can do this. If you ask the people, and I think yeah. in, in general it's the same when yeah. you draw people. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have to. You don't need their allowing to 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 That's it. do this. But yeah. it is nicer if you have it. Why not? Why? And it's also nice to communicate with people. I draw. I draw you, and I I, I show it to you, and yeah. the people. Most of them will will people really love it. Yeah, they love it. They like it. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's it's a good thing. It's more. It's not an. Uh, you know, if uh, if you make a a, a drawing. It's maybe it's it's also some kind have some kind of intimacy or something, but yeah, it's, it won't be pornographic. Never, it's not a like a you're not a paparazzi or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant by it's yeah. something personal because if you draw someone, it is kind of an intimate thing. I I think so too. If 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 you also if you draw each other, you know, you just yeah. sit across <laughs> from each other and you yeah. you just. Um, uh, study each other's faces, and it's it's I don't know it's interesting. I I, I like doing that because yes, it's an course. intimate and thing. It's, it's some part of yes yeah, intimacy, but it's I sometimes I thought as this is an idea I had in the last time that I, I like draw I like to draw people I, I I really like it, but if I think about it twice, it's also a good excuse to. Give people attention, but normally, if you if you if you are yeah. here in a city, you sit in a coffee or something, and just stare at people, yeah. they, will, they will probably think, "Are you weird? Yeah, you want to have friends, or yeah, what, yeah. what do you, you want? Are you just crazy? Yeah, stalk yeah, yeah, them? yeah, 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 yeah. But if you draw them, you have some kind of good excuse, yeah, to watch people. Huh? Yeah. If you are interested in people, I think it's a good excuse to watch them. If you have. A sketchbook. Go. I mean, just like you did on the train with that girl, you yes. just drew her, and yeah. I, I'm, I bet she loved that. I mean, that's just I don't know. attention, yeah, uh, you know. You give someone, and yeah, um, and often you get um, really interesting um, conversations too if people see that you're drawing them. It's a good uh, excuse to be more aware of the world. Absolutely, absolutely. That's very I good. Agree. Yeah, normally, we should just be aware of the world for no reasons. Yeah. But okay, we live in a society, and we we uh, it's it is a very good excuse for everything. Yeah, yeah you can do this. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. So here's a question from Gail. Uh, Gail. Hello, Gail. Hello, Gail. Gail says, "I am going on vacation to a seaside town." Do you have any suggestion, uh, suggestions on must-have tools to take with me? Or maybe you have any other advice for uh, the seaside yeah, travel? Maybe. Uh, of course, watercolor. Hmm? Watercolor? You, you, need, you need color, so you yeah. need watercolor. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe what's special on seaside, I don't know. Hmm? Maybe I, well, I would say watercolors, pencils, usual stuff. I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend to... Bring so much material, mm -hmm. just what you, you can easily get in your bag, and it's not so heavy. Mm -hmm. Because you also always walk a lot. You you just you just need to find a place where you can make a good sketch, where there's a good view, and so on. And this this necessarily means that you have to move a, a while. And if it's too much, too heavy, you won't move so much. Yeah. Don't do so. Take a sketchbook, a small watercolor case. A small kit, just a that small kit with you, and and also um, what I would advise um, because <laughs> I've made the mistake of thinking I'm going on a holiday. I have loads of time, and I will learn loads of new things. So I would yeah. just pack my my bag with a lot of stuff, and then in the end. I would end up using my favorite tools anyway and all the yeah. other stuff. I was just, yeah. you know, it was just in my bag and it was heavy, like yeah. you say. Like, it's it's not really great if you're traveling. So just stick to the tools that you are really happy with. Of course. And yeah. uh, maybe take uh, an extra colored pencil or whatever yes. that you can experience with, but don't don't take too much. 
Just keep it simple. You, and if in, you can, you can draw with a finger in the sand if you want. You don't yeah. need so much material. So, I, yeah. Again, this is my case. This is big and nasty. You can mix colors. Yeah. It's no problem. Yeah. And of course, you will, you will become better in mixing colors if your case is not so big. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, um, Gil, I think that answers your question, and I hope you have a, a great holiday great vacation and um also share some of your art with us in the schoolyard if you uh, um, oh. if you get back that would be great oh wow yeah. um. um so let's see what ev what else do we have what kind of questions oh um anthony still has a has a question <laughs> oh gail is by the way <laughs> she's responding she's like okay i'll Better take some stuff out of my bag. She has already <laughs> packed her yes. bags. Yeah, do this. Yes, Gil, yeah. do that. Yeah. Just mm. take take some stuff out and yeah. take uh, the favorite stuff with you. Anthony um, uh, has a question about what we discussed before uh, about um, being on location and yeah. picking your subjects. He says. Um, did you ever get into trouble or have you ever been told off or to get get out somewhere uh, because you were drawing a, a building that was considered sensitive or a place that was considered like no, sensitive the two, uh, the, I, I, for sure that will happen in North Korea or something but I never were in North Korea right, right. I not moved to go to North Korea but maybe that will happen there yeah um I was in China last year, and uh, we've been on this Tiananmen place, and the people around me, they were a bit nervous because I start to draw, and this, oh. my Chinese colleagues, they become nervous. They say, oh, there might be, this might be a dangerous oh, situation. Okay, okay. But, um, but uh, everywhere I draw in China, that was very much okay. It was just this place because it's a sensitive place. Right. Exactly. Notice that too. I was in uh, in Muslim countries and in, in I don't know in in Russia and uh, in America and wherever. And it says always no problem with yeah. this. Um, maybe in Muslim countries with drawing people from time to time, but not with with places in general. Mm. But it definitely you will kick out in Denmark or Germany from a supermarket if you go in a supermarket and draw. This happens from time to time. Seriously? Is what you're doing here, girl? Seriously? Yeah. Yes, this, this is, yeah. So they think you are spying on yes, them think, and you're yeah, from the com yeah. competition well, or what? Yes, or if you ask them in advance, can I draw here? They, they say, oh, I have to ask the manager. And the manager called, oh, I, I wait, I have to ask the other manager. And it, it will take waste tons of time. Yeah? So in general, oh. I just start drawing yeah. and then kick me out. Yeah? Excuse is, me, sir, why are you drawing those carrots? Yes. You, yes, you, you can go to, I don't know, to, to a mosque or to a, a synagogue or to a church and you well, can you... do all those things nobody will care about. But if you go to a supermarket and draw carrots, yeah, this, this is a problem from time to time. That's so my advice is don't go to supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried it actually, but now yeah. I want to just to yeah, see if I get right kicked now. out. <laughs> It happened in, in Denmark one time and in Germany also. But ah. I think they have, I don't know, business reasons or something yeah. like this. Yeah? And they just don't get the point what you do there. Yeah. This is the point. They yeah. just they can't imagine that it, you are interested in carrots. Yeah? Yeah. There must be something suspect behind. Exactly. It, it's For them, it is like you are going through the shop with your camera, yeah. photographing things. That would also not be accepted. Like, mm. excuse me, what are you doing? Some kind of set because it is. it's interesting. Yeah, you yeah. can do this. However. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. I see another. Um... And I draw everywhere. I draw in nightclubs in Berlin. I draw yeah. uh, everywhere. And no, nothing happened. Yeah, but supermarkets. Is... And I was in yeah. Moscow uh, 14 days ago, and I go to this Pushkin Museum, and I I copied. Um, wait, I can show you because it's in this sketchbook. I copied oh, old old pictures. Uh, here, by the way, this is Moscow. Wait, Moscow. Mm. Ah. Look at those and colors. Maybe, can you show maybe. it a little bit longer? Can you I can show another Moscow. This is uh, St. Basil's Cathedral. Nice. Moscow on nice. sketchbook. Yes. But what I wanted to tell you is uh, I was in this Pushkin Museum because they have wonderful art. And of course, I, I copy good old Rembrandt and good old, yes. I don't know, Bruegel. Yeah. 
There we go. And these, these people say, um, do you use colors in our museum? Yeah. And they, oh, yeah. they give me the advice to use a pencil or something. They yeah, don't some museums, have colors yeah. in the museum yeah, yeah, because yeah. they are aware of their, of their pictures, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That often, that's often in but, museums. But, you can draw, but only with, with a pencil. This was not the idea to change something in this way in painting. It is very good. I just want to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. However, exactly. <laughs> it was perfect. That don't need to change. Yeah, it was not my idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. However, yeah, people get nervous in yes. in, uh, in museums for that. Yeah. So Michelle Maybe also I thought I will draw a mustache or something. Yeah. <laughs> I have this fine liner, and I can just that's not, yeah. That's not finished. Let me do this. Yeah, there's something missing here, or maybe like little yes. glasses. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, next time. Yeah. Next yeah. time, next time. Yeah, yeah. I will. go. Yeah. So Michelle is also here and she um, has, a, has a question. She says, your drawings are so evocative and stir up lots of emotions. I think that's the, you know, expression that you put in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have a message or a theme overall that you are trying to communicate with your art? Something that connects it all together? Oh, good question. Mm. It's hard to ex ex uh, describe. I think um, in general, if, if, if you want that uh, um, there will be emotion in whatever, in some kind of a subject or an object or something. First of all, you need emotion for this. If it doesn't touch you, it won't touch people if they look at the picture what you create from it. Mm -hmm. It has to touch you a bit. Mm -hmm. Then maybe my advice would be don't draw shoes because you think that artists have to draw shoes or something. That's yeah, stupid. Yeah. Yeah. If you like the shoes, okay. But if you don't care about the shoes, I really would give you the advice, don't draw it. Yeah, so there, there, there might be more interesting things in your life. Yeah, so you need to have a connection with yeah. what you're drawing, yeah. whatever kind of connection yeah. it is. Yeah. Um, and, and getting in a good back way or in a bad way, but, but it yeah. needs to have to be some emotional Something thing. so you yeah. can yeah. actually yeah. Um, yeah. F let that emotion flow yeah. into your pen. Yeah. Um, and I think it also is what we talked about um, in the beginning of this conversation, like if you have a bit of a story in the back of your mind, what, what is the story mm. that you want to tell about yeah. this particular subject? Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, uh, that's a good combination of things yeah. to have as a an overall theme, yeah. I think. Yeah, it is, it doesn't have to, to. You don't have to be really aware of it. You don't have to wear well, creative stories. Maybe just there's something in it. Mm -hmm. Maybe some, but it, it need it needs something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Uh, here's a question from um, uh, Brett, um, actually uh, about drawing in museums. Yeah. Do you ever? Use an iPad because oh, from time to time, yes, I do, but not I. I, I, I just try my old iPad and um, now nah, I, I was in uh, in Florence with friends, mm -hmm. and this is all this ooh, fantastic old architecture. And if you try it with watercolor, it looks like yeah, it looks like people uh, pictures people did hundred years ago or something. And a friend of mine has this iPad, and I try it out, and it was great fun. Yeah, to yeah, do this yeah. because it's, it's the material make and make it very fresh and new. So yeah. it was great. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a completely different tool, but it's not the tool of your choice. That's yes, but no, but it's it's not a big question. It's, uh, if you draw something, it's not a question of your hand and not a question of your tool. Oh, it's cool. more a question of your mind and more a question of your eyes and something like this. So it's just yeah, a pencil maybe. Yeah. A modern pencil, but it's just a pencil. It doesn't make it for you. You have to make this drawing. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Um, let's see. We have only just about five minutes left, but yep. there are a few more questions in here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, here, a C van der Beek <laughs> is okay. asking. Uh, is asking. How to avoid making a caricature of people? 
but still stay loose and not too precise? Oh, um, good question. Yes, I like it. Question. Mm. I, it, it's also hard to describe. I try to use my uh, intuition. Mm -hmm. So I, I, mm, I don't count it or I don't uh, look so precise. I yeah. make it a very good way not to control all the time what you do on your paper. Stay with your eyes on the person you do. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe while you draw, you can make it a bit blind. Right. Draw and don't look on your paper, just mm -hmm. look on the object you do. Yeah. Be, give, give the object attention, not so much what you do. And I think this is a bit more, yeah, you need a, you need a bit of faith on what you do while you do this. Right. Give right. the person attention and not so much. Your drawing, and this is a. This sounds like a weird advice from a drawing teacher, but it is. This is the point. Yeah, if you are not interested in the person, if you are just interested in the structure of the nose, that won't be a good caricature of the person. Maybe it will just be a good nose. You know. Right. So in, instead of really thinking about trying to capture the features you are trying to capture the personality yeah. does it help to have a conversation with the person yes you are? i think yeah? it's very very much i think it's a big difference if you if you make a character tour from a photo it won't be so good Definitely. like if you go to a, a live person mm -hmm. it is always if if you if you meet a live person it's it, you can't compare it to what kind of there's so many inspiration and sensitive things you see to see in the real world yeah? Yeah. if you just copy a picture it reminds me always like in like in uh, father times if a princess will go marry a, a, a guy from a boat and bring a picture it's not it's not the real world you have to meet people yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's good yeah. yeah so but of course you you don't really meet uh, real politicals yeah? mm -hmm. so it's a it's a problem yeah Right, right. Yeah. So then it soon becomes a caricature. Yeah. 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 Great. I think we ran out of um, questions. Oh, there's one um, sort of practical question from Gail, who is now unpacking her bag again and yeah, yeah. repacking okay. it. <laughs> um, <laughs> she asks, um, do you use water brushes? Well, you showed it before. Um, but what is your favorite brand for a water brush? Can you show it again, your water brush? Uh, I don't know. This is a nameless brand. Yeah, I don't know. It's cheap and nameless. It's it costs it, three euro. It's probably the... Um, Pentel? Pentel. But to say the truth, this is not a good brush. As a, if you were, want to make real watercolor things, don't use this. This is just for working in museum or working in, yeah. I don't know. On, on location, yes. On location. Yeah. For real watercolor things, you need a good brush. And this is not made of plastic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So those water brushes are really great for location, yeah. but the brush itself is just yeah. synthetic. It's it's yeah. it is really plastic. So if you if you want to work uh, with watercolors and really make it yeah. look really great, That's, you need an actual yeah. brush with hair. For example, if you if you draw a bigger picture mm -hmm. with big areas. You yeah. can't do it with this. No, no, it's, no, no that's way. just super no, no. frustrating and you won't that's, get that um, yeah. that effect of the watercolor that yeah. we just saw. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Kostya, it yeah. was very, very nice to talk with you. It yeah. was fantastic. Thank you yeah. so much for spending an hour with us. We yeah. had so many great questions and you had yeah. so many great answers to them. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Felix. It was nothing less than a pleasure. Thank you very much. Great. Well, thanks so much. Thanks, everyone, for joining this webinar and for all your questions. And uh, we will see each other in class again in uh, yep. That Looks Really Real. Yep. Thank you so much. Have a yeah, great course, yeah. day. Yeah. Bye. Yo, bye. 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 Okay. Ending the broadcast.